One thing that I have noticed over the last four years, a shit ton of research, is in this nation that we call home, not a single thing will ever be done to rectify an act until somebody gets offended. Once somebody gets offended and they are publicly outburst with it, countless groups are made. Laws are put in place. Support groups are put in place to rectify the fact that they will never be offended again. Well, up until this point, I do believe that down-home country folk, the gold backwoods rednecks, we've been pretty quiet about what offends us. But in the hope that maybe if we express ourselves, that maybe something will be done about what offends us, I do believe it is time that we break our silence and we start expressing what offends us. So here we go. I'm going to give you all a couple things that offends me. One thing that offends me is that mediocrity is now the norm in America. It is no longer socially acceptable to coach your kids. They want to know why kids can't handle a job once they get out of school. It's because they were never coached. If, you, uh, if a coach grabs a kid by the shoulder pads now, yells at him trying to bring out his absolute best, that coach is in danger of losing his job because somebody's going to be offended that that was their child. Do you know how many grains of snuff that I've had spit into my eye and stuff from my coaches yelling at me? I didn't die. It's not a bad deal. It's called searching for greatness, not mediocrity. Not only that, I am offended at the fact that our men and women of this nation no longer feel safe in public letting our loved ones go to the restroom because we don't know if somebody who is biologically not the same sex as them is going to follow them into the bathroom because they decided to identify as a strawberry Pop-Tart today or whatever they decided to identify as. I get your life is your life, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't offend us. But we didn't say anything about that. The straw that really broke the camel's back on what offends the down-home country people is the fact of what just happened. And I think you all know what I'm talking about. Complete incompetence and negligence have led to 13 deaths of our military men and women. Keep in mind now that these aren't grown-ass people, okay? One of them was over 30. The rest of them were in their 20s. Now I understand that there's been 2,448 deaths in the war of Afghanistan since it has started in 2001. Yes, I've done my research. Okay, those deaths were acts of war. The 13 soldiers that we lost was because of sheer incompetence, sheer neglect. And to add insult to injury, our commander-in-chief decided that it was more important to check his watch while our men and women of uniforms' bodies were being rolled past them than to sit there in attention and at least give them the honor that they deserve. Well, my inbox fills up every day with all these hardcore left people and they're entitled to their opinion, but one of the most common messages that I get is that I will never make a difference. It doesn't matter what I do, they're running the country, I should just mind my own. Well, I was brought up in a different world, I reckon, because in my eyes, a war is never over until the last soldier quits fighting. And the good Lord blessed me with the strength to get out of bed this morning, so I have decided to continue my fight. Now, with the amount of backlash that our government is getting because of the acts of the 13 soldiers being killed, they are going to have to try to save some face if they have any chance at all, which I don't think they do, any chance at all of being reelected. So I got to thinking about it. I said, what could they possibly do to try to save any kind of face from this horrible act that has gone on? Light bulb. They're going to try to make sure that them soldiers' names are never forgotten. Here's my thought on the whole ordeal. And you notice I'm not yelling. I'm not cussing a whole bunch. Here's my thought on it. If they want to erect a monument in these soldiers' hometowns in order to make sure that these soldiers are never forgotten, it doesn't need to come from them because it's nothing more than an apology. It needs to come from the American people who truly, truly feel the hurt that these families feel as a sure sign of honor. So I got to thinking, what can my little podonk ass do in order to make sure that these 
men and women of uniform are remembered for all eternity because our commander in chief's name is going to be remembered for all eternity. I don't think it's going to be remembered for a bunch of good stuff, but it's going to be remembered for all eternity. What might not be remembered is the 13 soldiers that were killed in cold blood because of pure incompetence. So I came up with an idea. Well, one of the messages that I have read in my little uh, inbox was, is in my little, po I own a little podunk ass backwoods outdoor company. It's called Bass Bucks and Birds. It's right there on my hat and on my shirt. Okay. What they don't understand is my little podunk ass company has fed thousands of veterans with the help of you people in about the last three months. Not only that, but we've bought thousands, and I do mean thousands of Christmas presents for children who were battling cancer during the uh, Christmas holidays and made sure that they had a reason to want to wake up the next morning. So I do believe that I'm making a difference. But I'm calling on everybody out there who has any kind of hurt in their heart at all right now because I'm fitting to make a big sacrifice, but I cannot do this alone. I have the hometowns and the names of all 13 of these fallen soldiers. With my little podunk ass backwoods company, with the help of my whole Zach Nation out there, I am donating enough proceeds from my mystery subscription boxes, which ain't nothing but hats and shirts and, and you, get, you get third items and stuff like that. I'm donating the proceeds until we build a monument in each one of these soldiers' hometowns to make sure that their name is never, ever forgotten. I refuse to let an apology come from the government to these families and think that it's rectified. I refuse to let that happen. I will not stop with my little podunk ass company until those monuments are erected in those soldiers' hometowns. I'm going to make sure if his name lives on, their name lives on. They will never be forgotten. If you can find it in your heart to buy one of my mystery boxes, I can guarantee you, and I'm going to be on site for them, I will oversee the entire erection of these monuments to make sure our men and women in uniform did not die in vain. If you can find it in your heart to buy one of these boxes, keep in mind that when you rep this brand, this little podunk ass Bass Bucks and Birds brand, when you rep that brand, it stands for something. Because I have no problem at all owning a company that represents the old ways and honor and pride and patriotism. I have no problem being associated or owning a company that supports that. I see my hats all over the nation. When I travel, they're everywhere. When I see them and they come up and shake my hand, my first thing, and you can check this with anybody who's ever met me, is thank you for repping the brand because this little podunk ass brand stands for something. It stands for the people who wake up in the morning, put them boots on, take it to work just so they have enough money to get to the hunting camp on Saturday and go out in the deer woods. Yeah, we might be backwoods. We might not wear suit and ties every day, but I can tell you this. We ain't forgot about what's important. If you want to contribute to this cause, I'm going to leave the link to the mystery box in the description. Now, if you're one of these people who you're not real computer savvy, I'm going to put our customer service hotline in the description, the phone number. You give them a call, they'll get you taken care of. But I'm not going to stop. I'm still going to do my veterans. I'm still going to do my kids. I'm taking the hit here on making sure that these, that these uh, veterans that are no longer with us are never forgotten. I'll take the hit. If you want to contribute, click that link. If you, can't, if you can't get the link to work, call that number. Let's make this happen. I refuse to be beat to the punch by them people who are responsible for this act sitting up there in Washington right now. You ever been so mad and so absolutely demoralized that you can't even get mad? That's where I'm at right now. It's officially time to step up to the plate. It's our time. I love all y'all. And for all my people out there that's repping the Triple B brand already, it stands for something. If anybody tells you any different, they ain't on your team. I love y'all. Let's make this happen. Shit.